Hey everybody, welcome back to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And this time out, we're gonna take a look at something really cool that is gonna be an excellent accessory to your solid state logic DAW controller units. Whether you have one of the DAW controller units or whether you have two of them or a combination of all three here, I have a cool custom built stand that you're gonna be able to put right on your desk. It's not only that it's functional, but it looks super professional. It makes things a lot easier to work with if you're working for these big, with these big, uh, dog controllers. That's what we're going to do in this video. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. And also, if this is your first time here, go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I want to give you a free mixing course. It is right on the home page. There's a big orange button. You cannot miss it. It is my gift to you just for visiting Home Recording Made Easy. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'm going to give you something else for free. So I had a problem. I have my three solid state logic DAW controllers, my UF8, my UC1, and my UF1. I wanted to have a full solid state logic SSL console for my in-the-box workstation, and I had kind of a problem. I had these three controllers on my desk. They're really cool. Two problems. One, looks kind of messy when they're just kind of sitting on the desk. You got all the power cables, you got all the USB cables coming out. It's hard to do wire management. And the second problem was, if I wanted to take those things off of my desk so I can use the, my desk space for something else, like filming another video for another product and I have to do a camera over the top down, in order to take these things apart, I have to disconnect all the power bricks, disconnect all the USB cables, take three individual units off, put them in storage, do my next video, and then when I wanna come back and start working with the SSL stuff again, I have to then connect all three, you get the idea. And I was looking for, was hoping that someone made a, a stand that housed all three of these units that were all self-contained. So they had enough room for all the power uh, cables in it, and then I can just have one power cable come out the front with one USB cable, and I can just pick the thing up and take it out, and drop it and plug two cables in, and I'm back up and running. So I was on the search for something like that, and I came across this company out in California called MixEnds.com. Link will be in the description box below. Um, I reached out to the owner, Jason. He's really, really cool. And uh, I had him build me one of his standard triple bay uh, racks for these three solid state logic controllers. Now, full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. I did pay for my unit and I did, uh, I got I got a deal on it. I got a discount on it uh, so I could go ahead and make this video because I thought it was really cool. And I said, if this thing, functions and looks as good as it does on the website. I wanted to bring this to you guys because I know there's a lot of you out there that follow this channel that have these solid state logic controllers and I wanted to give you an option. So Jason was really cool. We worked out a deal. He sent me his his Primo uh, triple bass stand here, although I did pay for it. And um, I want to do this video because I want to share because I think he's a really cool guy. He's been working in the music industry for a long time. He's an audio engineer. He's worked at a lot of big companies and he's also a professional woodworker. He's a one man show. He makes these cool custom uh, stands for your um, for your controllers and I wanted to pass along the information to you. So check the link in the description box below. Go check out mixends.com and you'll see all the different things. So before I pull the controllers out and we get the iPhone out and do an up close and personal look so you can see the quality of the way this thing is built, I wanna give you some information about the way these stands are built and what uh, options that they offer. So I got some notes here. So the first thing I wanna show you or tell you about is he makes currently uh, stands for two different products. He makes them for the SSL controllers, and he also makes them for the Avid S1 and S3, and the uh, and the single uh, uh, Avid controller up to a five bay configuration. So I guess the Avid controllers, you can piece them all together, kind of like what you do with solid state stuff, and you can make them for one unit, or you can make them for all five units or anything in between. He also makes, again, the one for the SSL uh, UF8, UC1, UF1, up again to five bay configuration. So this is a three bay configuration. So if you wanted to add, let's say, a second UF8 and have 16 faders, which are UC1 and your UF1, he will he, he could build that as well. So he even builds one that's even bigger than this, which is really cool. Some key points about the construction of the stand and then I'll get some B-roll and cut it in and out so you could see the quality of this thing. Each, each one of his stands is constructed out of solid wood throughout and is completely handmade. And there are different choices on his website for dips and different types of wood. You can go check his website and see what kind of wood options that he has. There are no outside fasteners or screws that are shown. This thing looks complete. This is like a piece of high quality furniture. This thing is gorgeous. You don't see any outside fasteners. There is a cross support across the top. 
uh, that is cut on a specific angle to allow for ventilation of the controllers. So this thing is really well thought out and that the way the top brace is cut, you get proper ventilation for the controllers so they don't overheat. And you also have full access to all the connections on the front of these controllers. There is also a bottom handrail uh, that is cut to a specific angle to allow the front of the controller for ventilation as well. So underneath this armrest here, I can feel underneath in the front, you can feel where it ventilate, where he has the ventilation. So you have ventilation on both sides, so you don't have to worry about the thing uh, overheating. There are soft edges to, for the reduction of sound reflection off your desk, so everything is rounded. There's no sharp edges. Everything is sanded and smooth. I mean, like a high-quality piece of furniture would be. Would be. The handrail is double padded with neoprene, which is a mouse pad material for high quality comfort. And I will say this thing feels wonderful. Then it is wrapped with authentic cowhide leather and a choice of smooth or plush suede. So I guess your, your wrist rail here, where you rest your wrist, you have a couple of different choices on the finish and the material. This is made out of like a neoprene, but this thing is, I mean, it thing just feels awesome. It just feels awesome. It really, really does. You just, it just feels really smooth. It's really super comfortable. And all the stands are ha hand built for the controllers to sit at the most perfect angle for mixing on a standard desktop. And I will say, and I don't know, I'll, one of these camera angles, you'll be able to see it, that when you put these controllers in, this thing is at the perfect angle. Now I know on the SSL controllers, you have the feet that you can adjust, even if you don't have a stand to get them at the perfect angle. But the way this thing is built, I mean, it is perfect. When you rest your wrists on here, it is absolutely perfect. When they're all plugged in and they're lit up, you can read everything really, really nice. You couldn't ask, at least in my opinion, for a better angle for the way these things are sitting inside of this stand. So that's really well thought out, really, really great. Um, underneath there's independent rubber isolation feet to prevent any uh, frequencies traveling through the desk. So it's kind of coupled from the desk with rubber feet on the bottom. Um, and it's super comfortable to work on because of the way it's cut and it just looks professional. I mean, it is a professional looking unit here and I'm gonna shoot some iPhone video. I don't know how I'm gonna insert all of this, but I'm gonna, then we're gonna take the controllers out and we're gonna take a look. So here's an up close a personal look from like my viewpoint of what this stand looks like. And sorry about the lighting if it's a little bit of a glare. I'll try to fix that in post, but just to give you an idea of what this thing looks like when you're sitting in front of it, Really, really nice. Really, really great. Again, if I roll this out of the way, you can see the sides of this thing, just, just the sides and the way it's all built and the construction. Like I said, the only way to really describe it, it's like a high quality piece of furniture. It's not some particle board thing that's kind of slapped together. I've seen people make some stands that look similar on YouTube, these DIY projects. Um, this is nothing like that, nothing, nothing at all. Okay, let me close that. Let me take for a second, I wanna take the stands out of this unit, uh, or the controllers out of the stands so you can kind of see the construction from the inside. So these things just pop right out. Here's the UF8 and the UC1. And then here is the UF1. This all, where am I gonna put this thing? Put this on the console for now. Okay, so here it is. Here's a, a look at the inside of it here. And again, I'll get the iPhone out and we'll shoot again a bunch of B-rolls so you can kind of see it. Because I can tell you, even on the website, when you look at the photos and you look at some of his sample videos and stuff, it doesn't do it justice. In person, this thing just looks amazing. It really does. I mean, I gotta say, this thing looks great. I mean, I mean, look at this. Look at the construction of this thing. I mean, it's just beautiful. Again, you got a support brace under here, here. Again, the support beam across the top, but you can see the angle of this. Nice soft, nice soft armrest there. Okay, and then underneath, again, I, hopefully this won't be too dark. You can see the ventilation underneath here that that was talking about. So everything is ventilated on both sides. And you also have, let me just shut this off for a second here. You also have, when these controllers are in, full access to the front. 
So not only do you have access to all the plugs, which is important, right, all the connections, but there's also enough room on this bottom brace here that you can actually put your power bricks for the UF-8 in the UC-1. They got, you know, external power supplies, the power bricks, they fit perfectly under here. So all the wires can be nicely uh, managed. So again, you can just have one set of one, two wires running out the front of this thing that plugs into your computer and into the power and you're ready to go. Thing is not very heavy, but it is built really well. It's all hand rubbed, oiled and stained. Um, and again, he has some different finish options, different wood options. Again, check uh, the mixends.com website. Again, link will be in the description box below and check it out. So, I mean, if you're looking for, you know, a, a, a stand for the tabletop desk uh, in, your, in your studio for your SSL controllers, or again, your Avid controllers, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Um, it's built, it'll last you a lifetime. It looks really great. It self-contains everything. You can easily pull it on and off your workstation if you need to do that. And again, if you're also uh, an in-the-box mixer with you know a couple of the UF-8s and all these DAW controllers lined up on your desk, it really makes it look like a nice centerpiece. So it's really great. So again, thanks to Jason uh, over at mixends.com. This is this is a great. This is really nice. And again, it does. It, it, I, I can't I can't say it enough. Um, it, 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 what you see on the website, and even when I was working with Jason, he was sending me photos and examples. It doesn't. It looks so much better in person than it does on the website. Not that it doesn't look great on the website. The photos look great, but when you see it in person and you put your hands on it, and you realize the quality of this thing compared to some, you know, cheap particle board, this thing is really, really cool. And again, if you just want, and you can put these in any configuration, you can, you can put these any way you want. I mean, you can put these over to the left, right, center, and they just drop right in. And it just fits like a glove, like it, it was made for these. And they are, they're custom made. Everything is flush, everything lines up, everything looks like it's custom built. Um, it's really, really, really cool, really cool. So, Again, once I get it all hooked up and wired on the desk, maybe I'll take some video of that or some photos of that as well and insert that at the end of the video. But this is really, really cool. So once again, mixends.com, check the link in the description box. If you have any of these con controllers in any kind of configuration, hit up Jason, tell him that good old Uncle Dave sent you over and pick up one of these. I think you'll really, really like it. So thank you for sticking around and watching till the end of this video. Now, like I said at the beginning, I want you to go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I want to give you that free mixing course, right? We're talking about mixing here. This is like a mixing workstation, right? For, for my solid state logic rig. Um, I want to give you that free mixing course. It's a hundred dollar mixing course. It's my gift to you. It's absolutely free. Download it today. And once you take that course, if you dig Uncle Dave's style of teaching and you want to take one of my other courses, Courses on my website and I have everything from mixing to mastering, recording, EQ compression, parallel compression, and a partridge in a pear tree. I want to give you a 25% discount on any training course on the website. The coupon code that you can use at checkout is YouTube25. Put that in at checkout. It will take 25% off any course on the website. So until the next video, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Thanks so much for watching me today. I'll see you guys in the next video.